Adam Weinshub is referred to repeatedly in the Illuminatus trilogy as the founder of the Bavarian Illuminati and as the imposter who killed George Washington and took his place as the first president of the United States. Washington's portrait on the one dollar bill is rumored to actually be Adam Weinshub. Both George and Jebediah play the fife. Both George and Jebediah are known for using an axe or hatchet. George had false teeth and Jebediah had a false tongue. If in 1796 Hans Sprungfeld changed his identity to Jebediah Springfield, then in 1796 could Adam Weinshub have changed his identity to George Washington? Let's have a look at some old portraits of George Washington. Here we see George Washington before 1770. Here he is in 1772. Notice his face is exactly the same in these portraits. You can still recognize him. 1780, exactly the same features. 1787, same person. 1790, same person. 1795 and we see a completely different person appears. If we have a look at both portraits side by side we see they are completely different people. Are we expected to believe he has changed this much in five years? And if you think that it's simply that the painters have made a mistake or they have different ideas of what he looked like, all the people after 1796 in the portraits of George Washington all look the same. So until 1796, Jebediah Springfield was known as Hans Sprungfeld, a bloodthirsty pirate with a silver tongue. Hans even tried to kill George Washington. Notice that they say in 1796, and in the portraits he changes in 1795, very close. It does seem like Jebediah Springfield represents George Washington. There are many similarities. Too many to just be coincidence seems like he was also a member of the Skull and Bones Club. Just like all the other presidents. Killing a snake on the very first whacking day in 1775. That was the same day he was at Ticonderoga. How could he be in two places at once? Uh-oh. Don't blow the whole deal. Get him out of here. Roger seems that if an episode shows code, then that code is for events that will generally take place three to four years from the air date. The famous 9-11 code in the episode titled The City of New York vs. Homer Simpson was aired on September 21, 1997, which is four years from 9-11-2001. Here are some clips. Oh, I'd love to see New York. We could all go with the bus company's special super sitter fare. Your vehicle is illegally parked at One World Trade Plaza. Hmm. Ooh. Here's a better idea. You give me your address and I'll write to you. Uh, okay, I just send it to Jesus, uh, care of the Pentagon. Excuse me, is this Mad Magazine? The Twin Towers, the Pentagon, Mad Magazine, and 9-11 were all shown. Mad stands for Mutually Assured Destruction, and I believe it is code for just that. Let's have a look at the content which Mad has shown up in other episodes. Here are some clips from Season 12 titled, New Kids on the Block. In this episode, Mad is shown, and also a building that is comparable with the Chrysler Building. There also appears to be code written on a switch in one of the scenes. Alright, Posse. That's our target. Eyes, we've only got a few minutes. Uh oh. As you can see, this looks very similar to the Chrysler building. Aw oh, man, we could have been on the cover of Mad. You leave me no choice! No! In this scene, they have changed the label on the switch from Commission Decommission to Ship Museum. This has to be some sort of code. A cartoonist would not make this sort of mistake. It does not make sense. <laughs> 